Hi friends, this is Anaya, and I'm in the Hawaiian Islands. Right now I'm in the island of Kauai. It's the, called the Garden Island. It's also the island of chickens. Many roosters and hens and such all about, so you may hear them during this video. <clears throat> what I wanted to share with you was the topic of spiritual guidance. And this relates directly to the Hawaiian Islands for a couple reasons. I'm going to share with you my own experience. Uh, every year, in the winter time, after all the activity of summer and fall, um, the energy of the earth kind of goes down. And you can really feel this if you're um, away from the equator. Uh, for many of us living in, uh, say, United States, um, if you're perceptive, when spring comes up, there's actually an inner heat that you can feel within your body. Not only gets warmer outside, but it gets warmer inside. And the reverse happens in the winter time. Things get cooler. And the winter time is a great time to gestate, to really take in and contract your energy and really just be still and be introspective. And for me, I use it as the winter time to think forward and be open to what spirit would have me do for the next year cycle. So for 2010, uh, as of you know January, February, uh, I still didn't have a really clear guidance on what spirit would have me do for that year. So in mid-February, I'm laying in bed, getting ready to go to sleep, my eyes are closed, and this very small light, like a star, appears to me. And, uh, you know, that's interesting, I thought. And then uh, I just stayed with it, and a couple seconds later, this energy behind this star has a message, and, you know, to me it sounds like a word, and that word is Hawaii. So that led to a whole chain of events for me being uh, on this trip to come to Hawaii in mid-May of 2010. And it is very beautiful, and the islands all have their own characteristics, their own combinations of, of life and vegetation, and their own distinct energies. So, to me, this kind of calling to this place of beauty um, has so many metaphors. Um, on the one level, very personal level, it's not just an inner guidance, but it's a call to your own inner beauty. Um, being called to a place uh, where you can see outwardly the beauty that you carry inwardly, that all of us carry. All of us carry the kind of beauty that's in these places like Hawaii. And uh, often it's just a matter of orienting ourselves to be able to see it through meditation, through trusting ourselves and loving ourselves, etc. At another level, I believe that the energies that were here, the sort of high clarity that is in the Hawaiian Islands, all of the beauty, was part of what drew the first peoples who came to Hawaii. You know, the archaeologists will say uh, that it was the Polynesian explorers, maybe from the Marquesas and later Tahiti, who came uh, to these islands. And uh, I think that, you know, whoever came and whatever their point of origin was, this kind of energy, this kind of wanting to connect with self, was an inner guiding light to help people to come and find this land. Uh, many of the Hawaiians themselves will say that their ancestors came from the stars. Uh, in either case, uh, the journey is the same. Spiritual guidance is looking inside, is being open, is being receptive to the message, and then trusting yourself to go ahead and act on that guidance you receive. And when you do that, it does lead you to the place of beauty, both inside and outside. Aloha.